Time for some entertainment headlines. And after much speculation, Jeopardy! officially has a new host. The show's executive producer, Mike Richards, gets to split the honor with a celebrity. And Chicago Bulls entertainment host, Justin Roman, is with us tonight. So, Justin, what can you tell us about this new setup? Hi, Nicole. Yeah, pretty excited. Executive producer, Mike Richards. He will be the official daily host of the classic game show, Jeopardy! He is obviously replacing legendary uh, host, Alex Trebek. Now, I'll get back to my Mike Richards in a second because also hosting Jeopardy will be Mayim Bialik from uh, Big Bang Theory. You may know her from Blossom, my old school fans out there. She is also being uh, the host of uh, Jeopardy Primetime and the spinoff series Jeopardy College National Tournament. So that's pretty cool. But back to executive producer Mike Richards being the host. Now, if I auditioned for that show, I'd be kind of bummed out because if the executive producer picked himself over me, that's kind of not cool, right? You think you have a hand in picking his host of his show. But anyways, as a diehard Chicago Bears fan, I'm very glad it was not Aaron Rodgers because I couldn't stomach watching Aaron Rodgers on my TV in Chicago every single day. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> all right, all right, Justin. Well, MTV has announced this year's VMA nominees. We know first-timer Olivia Rodrigo to superstars like Justin Bieber. So tell us who else is nominated. Yeah, so Justin Bieber and Megan Thee Stallion, they both lead all artists with nominations at this year's 2021 MTV Video Music Awards happening on Sunday, September 12th at Brooklyn's Barclays Center. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, she's up for six nominations, including Artist of the Year and four for her song WAP with Cardi B, including Video and Song of the Year. Justin Bieber, he leads all artists with seven nominations, including Artist of the Year, and he has three for his smash song called Peaches. Also, like you said, Olivia Rodrigo, Drake, BTS, um, tons have five nominations, but I will say I can't believe in 2021 a song called WAP is up for song and video of the year. <laughs> Justin, believe it. All right, all right, let's go back to the 90s. All right, a simpler time. Uh, fans of the 90s hit show Friends going wild over rumors two of the show's yeah. stars are dating. So any truth to this whole Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer connection? Oh, people are going crazy watching that reunion show because they both admitted, Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer, Rachel and Ross, they admitted they had feelings for each other and when they were filming live on the set, I couldn't even believe it. Nobody could believe it, but you you know what? This week it got crazier because, yeah, were they dating? They've been seen together, hanging out. Well, unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but a rep from David Swimmer and Jennifer Aniston have denied both those rumors, unfortunately. So I guess in real life, they are not each other's lobsters after all. And if you don't watch that show, you don't get that reference. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I believe it though. They always deny it, Justin, and then it comes out. Right, like they're married a year later and like, exactly. ha, I told you so, right? Yeah. All right, Justin, great having you with us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, the Dowling Report starts at the top of the hour. Let's go down to Joe in the studio to tell us 